Hi everyone, myself Harsha, I am Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings. So all of you welcome to Harsha Trainings. So learn Pega in depth all the concepts at its best. In this video, you are going to learn about what is a standard agent and what is AQM, auto queue management in detail. Before we go to the video, so a small announcement that we are going to start Pega training new batch starting from 31st May of this month and that is starting from next to Tuesday. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have two modes of sessions like classroom and online live sessions. So anyone from anywhere you can join Pega training uh, like online mode or if you are from Hyderabad you can join classroom training. And the course duration is and the course duration is three and a half months. And we are going to cover from basic level to advanced level covering two real time projects. So one will be taught in the class and the other one is going to be given as um, like an assignment uh, for you to work from your work at your free time. Call us on the number that is shown in this video for any training inquiry and we are going to show you job opportunities on Pega as well as we will help you uh, getting the jobs even if you have career gap after your education. Now let's get on to the video. Now let me explain you concept of standard agent and also the concept of auto queue management. Next we are going to discuss about what standard agent and its processing and auto queue management. This is what we are going to learn now. Before I explain you about standard agent and auto queue management concept, you one should know about routing, routing concept here. So routing to work list. Work list means single operator. Let's read, try to recollect the features provided by Pega for routing to work list. So we, there is one assignment. Assignment means it's a task. So that assignment is routed to operator one. Operator one, it is routed. So when a routing happens, the assignment gets stored into one table in the back end. Routing to operator, when an assignment is routed to one operator, the task will get stored into one table in the back end. What was the table? What is the table? PC assign work list. Work list. Assign work list. PC assign work list table. This table will have one record. 100 times you route. Then how many records will be there in PC assign work list table? 100. 100 records. See, today your office is done. And by tomorrow, when you come to office, you have got 10 different requests, 10 different assignments routed to you. Then how many records will be there in work list table on your name? Ten. On your name ID, how many records will be there? Ten. Ten records ten. will be there in the work list table. Okay. Okay, there are ten records in the work list table. And work list table, is it common for every operator or only for you? Only for the only for suppose if I have work list table. The table will have n number of records, right? Is it going to have only records related to one operator or all operators? Whomever the all operators. all operators out of hundreds of records, some of the records may belong to you. That is by the column PX assigned operator ID. Okay. So in the work list table, if there are 10 assignments routed to you, 10 records will be there in the work list table. I wanted to process this assignments which are being routed to me. How do I process? You need to log into PRBC and you go to your respective portal will get displayed and in your portal and in your portal you have my work. You have my work. So when you go to my work here you see all these particular uh, assignments. These are the records that are there in the work list table which are assigned only to you. Okay, so some other operator login and he go to my work. The records displayed in my work, will it be same as these particular records or different records? Different records related to him. So work list table records are there. Means whatever the work that you have to do that is already been handed over to you. You don't need to separately browse the work. 
already work is browsed to you and placed in some place okay now in order to process all these tasks what should you be doing you should be taking task one first take task one take task one okay and then process the submit processing means continue to submit this once this task is processed imagine once this task is processed will this task be still available in the work list table once this assignment is processed is this assignment still going to be there in the work list table or it will be no. deleted no it won't be available in work list table so one record will enter into work list table by the time you log in it will be there you don't need to separately browse from anywhere you need to just pick the record in the ui process it once processing is been done this particular record will be removed from the work list table and a commit will happen automatically everyone clear this is the execution of this is the overall design of routing to single operator now let's go to standard agent and auto queue management concept it's exactly what we have learned and discussed so far about routing to single operator exactly same is applicable in case of standard agent as well make sense everyone what will happen see the tasks that the standard agent have to process will be pushed into some table by operators like you are routing right the routing here is equal to pushing so there will be a table available in the back end by the name pr sys q pr sys queues what is the table name pr sys queues in this table suppose i have 10 agents i wanted to assign okay i have three agents please mute i have three agents i wanted to assign three tasks to agent one four tasks to agent two ten tasks to agent three now total how many records will be there in this table all the tasks will go and sit in this table only how many records will be there 10 plus 4 plus 3 17 records will be there in this table out of the 17 3 will be for agent 1 4 will be for agent 2 10 will be for agent 3 now whatever the processing that agent has to do we are already placing it in some separate table agent 1 wakes up when agent 1 wakes up by the time agent 1 wakes up it will not directly execute its activity agent has activity right it won't execute activity it will go and look up this particular table when agent one wakes up and come to this table to look up how many records are being found for the agent one three records agent one will pick the first record out of the three it picks the first record executes the activity for processing purpose completed now agent will pick the second record in the same wake up it will pick the second record execute the activity processing completed it will pick third record execute activity successfully completed like this per wake up for each record it will execute activity so each record in this table is equal to work object data entire work object data so during the transaction processing during the transaction processing look at here during the transaction processing we can add one step the step okay that is uh, i'll i'll tell you the step actually just simply i'm writing here the step label is q for agent that is an activity actually okay we will add one step during the transaction processing that step is going to be utility step what is the step utility utility is the flow shape used to call activities so in that utility shape, we can call one OOTV activity Q for agent. So this particular Q for agent activity will take two parameters. I'll show you Q for agent. This activity will take two parameters, name of the agent and the rule set in which it is created. Maximum items and all we can discuss later. Okay. Now agent name, once I give, this particular Q item will be pushed to 
PRCQ table. What is the table name? PRCQ. When work object reaches Q for agent time, I mean like utility shape where we have Q for agent, the entire object data, PY work page, everything will be handed over to agent. Everything will be handed over to agent. Means you are giving entire work object to someone. When you give the entire work object to someone, will they be able to process that work object or not? Do they need again separately fetching the data or they already have the data? You are submitting work, you are giving a work object to someone means they all they have entire work object data. That is what you are going to you are going to push the work object into agent queue into agent queue. So after you push that is what when you route you are pushing assignment to operator table. Okay, similarly you are pushing work object to agent queue. Now the work object is there in work table as well as the copy is also available with agent. Now when agent wakes up when agent wakes up it go to queue table first to queue item it will pick. Means one queue item it has picked means that is one work object it has got. It will execute activity for processing purpose. Once activity execution is successfully completed, then the queue item will be deleted from the queue table and a commit will happen. Next, in the same wake up, it has three items, right? Three items it will pick one after other and execute activity each time for each item. So, total per wake up for agent one having three queue items in queue table, how many times agent activity has been executed? How many times? Three times. Suppose by the time agent wakes up, there are 200 queue items for this agent. Within the wake up, how many times it is going to uh, execute its activity? 200 times. How many times? 200 times. Time. After there are in a wake up, once after it process all queue items, it will go to sleep. Okay. Next, it will wake up at the schedule time again. And it will look up the queue items and process to execute activity. Once the processing is successfully done, it will remove the queue item from the queue table. Okay. By the time it wakes up, there are no queue items found. In the table, there are no queue items at all. Then it will go to sleep without executing activity. Activity won't get executed. It will go to sleep. See, the concept of standard agent and queue processing is a copy paste of routing to work list. There is no difference, but only difference is there it is single assignment. Here it is entire work of the data you are going to hand over. That's the only thing. Other than that, everything what we are doing in the routing, same will be done here in the standard agent. See, by the time standard agent wakes up, if there are no queue items in the queue table, then agent will go to sleep without executing activity. By the time you log in, there are no work items in the work list. So are you going to do any processing? No, no, you will wait till you till the time you get the next work that's it you cannot do anything else right so agent also won't do anything see whenever we push a queue item into queue table of agent there will be a status that will get assigned i'll show you the database look at here what is the table name i was mentioning let me reopen this requery Let me open the database environment again. Where is it? Here it is. Just wait a minute. Into the Postgres, right? What is that? PRC SKUs. PRC SKUs. This is the table. PR SKUs view data first hundred rows. Look at here. See when a new item enters into queue table, the status of the item will be scheduled. Scheduled status means the item is ready to process. When, when agent wakes up, 
it looks up the queue table if there is an item found for this agent with status scheduled other than schedule suppose for this agent there is an item in this table but status is not scheduled it won't be picked so agent when it wakes up it looks up the queue table and picks the item with scheduled status and it starts processing right at the time of processing the item means at the time of executing activity for this item status will get updated to another value called now processing what is that now processing so now processing means it won't be picked by uh, agent so it is already been in progress after the processing is been done this item will be removed successfully from the table suppose there is a failure in activity processing then item status will get changed to what you can see on the screen broken process item status will get changed to broken process everyone clear so like this process commander is going to sorry, sorry standard agent when it wakes up it looks up the queue table if the items are there then it will execute activity once per the item if there were no items found in the table it will go to sleep without executing activity so the items with status schedule will be picked and activity execution will begin and at the time of processing the queue item the status will get updated to now processing if there is any failure in the processing status get modified to broken process and if the processing is successfully done item will get removed from the table so the logic of looking up the queue table and picking the queue item from the queue table and modifying the status of the queue item removing the queue item and finally committing commit all of these will be done automatically by process command that is a standard defined process provided by pega which is called as auto queue management what do you call it aqm auto queue management auto queue management means queue will be managed automatically by the agent itself so once you push it looking up the queue item picking the queue item processing the queue item deleting or updating the queue item and committing all this will be done by standard agent by itself prpc itself which is a standard defined process that's why this agent is called as standard agent make sense everyone clear so in order to push the queue items into queue table standard agent queue table to use a method or we can call a activity the activity name is queue for agent mainly it takes two parameters of rule set name and agent name the item will be pushed to that particular agent everyone clear so we will practically work on this